Tiffany Dover, and I am the manager in CCU. Um, for my team, this has been a it's it's been a hard time. You know, we've um, persevered through it, but I think that this vaccination offers us hope. And you know, the fact that we can be proactive versus reactive, it's you know, it's going to change the way this virus is taking over our lives. So I'm just thankful that we have a chance to receive it here. How personally, how has it impacted your life? Um, for me, I have, you know, seen my staff have to learn a whole new world of nursing, you know. Um, we have truly stepped up and, you know, people have picked up shift after shift to help cover um, as this, you know, has searched and, you know, truly our team has united together. It's, you know, between the physicians, my nurses, respiratory, you know, we've all worked to try to get the best care possible. And it's, you know, it's been a challenge, but we have friends to the occasion and I'm thankful for this team. When you woke up this morning, did you know you were going to be I did, yes. So, you know, all of my staff, um, we are excited to get the vaccine. You know, um, we are in the COVID unit, so therefore, you know, my team will be getting first chances to get the vaccine. And I know that um, it's really, sorry, I'm feeling really dizzy. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to pause here for a few moments to interject, just point a few ridiculous things out, in my opinion, regarding these so-called uh, doctors here. Now, these doctors proceed to hover around her and, uh, in my opinion, do absolutely nothing to uh, better the situation here. Um, the most astonishing thing to me about this whole little scene here is the fact that they still, still manage to decide to not take her mask off. Even though the woman has collapsed, fainted, could be dying, who knows? And I shit you not, they leave her mask on. I'm no doctor, but uh, she could, I don't know, you know, be able to maybe breathe a little better. You know, breathing may have something to do with this, with what could be happen happening to her. And she may need to breathe a little better. I don't know. I, I just don't know. <laughs> You know, maybe elevator legs. I mean, uh, uh, just, you know, basic things running through my mind. How about this guy, top right corner? Yeah, let me let me just pull up a chair. And uh, again, let's all just hover around looking at her with her mask on. Perfect. Perfect. Get right, she's going to get right, right better in no time. <laughs> wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Un freaking believable. So uh, then it just proceeds to get a little uh, awkward here behind the scenes with the uh, media. Some standing around going on. Yeah, the, <laughs> I just can't believe this. Just leave the mask on. Okay, she's collapsed. Of course. Okay, so yeah, just standing around. Gonna show a little bit more of this.
Okay, going to read a little bit of the uh, cover story. I'm sorry, the uh, coverage for you guys of what happened after and when she came around. And links will be below for this article and others. Uh, the nurse is now fine and later spoke to us on camera again. The doctors there at Chicago Memorial said this is not related to the ingredients in the Pfizer CV jab. Well, there you go. You know, that's good enough for me. Said it's not related. Um, according to the CDC, fainting can happen after many types of jabs. The CDC says although fainting has a variety of possible causes, it is usually triggered by pain or anxiety. The nurse also told us, told us she has a condition where she often faints when she feels pain. So this wasn't a surprise to her that it happened. Well, uh, I'm not really going to say anything on that. i uh, just going to leave that up to you guys. I'm going to end it there. So again, links below and uh, leave your comments below. Thanks. Our so-called leaders in Washington, whom we elected to safeguard our nation and our Constitution, are the betrayers, and that behind them are a comparatively small group of men whose sole objective is to enslave the whole world of humanity in their satanic plot of one world government.